Hey, it's Bruce Cook, and I'm just uh, doing a little shooting video with uh, five paintball markers. Uh, uh, three of them are markers that belong to my co-workers. Just had some uh, minor issues with them, so they gave them to me to fix. So, well, we're gonna. Uh, this is gonna be the last one I'll shoot. Obviously, it's uh, my Bob Long Vis. I've had it on here a million times. Uh, one of my co-workers, Proto Rise, it just, uh, ASA was just rocking back and forth a little bit. And it turned out all the problem was was just the uh, rail on the bottom. The two screws that uh, tighten it to the bottom of the grip were loose. Well, one of them was. Got it all tightened up, so it's holding the tank still now. One of my co-workers, uh, I don't know if that's a Dangerous Power G3 or G, if there's a G4 and G5 or whatever, but it's one of those Gs. Um, its issue was a macro line issue. Um, it still hasn't been resolved. I put a new macro line on it, but the uh, apparently the fitting, the o-ring in the fitting is probably bad because no amount of uh, swapping that out with the Q-tip and putting the macro line back in is uh, addressing the problem. So that just needs a new fitting, no big deal. Um, there's an ion that uh, uh, my roommate got from uh, the thrift store. It was just something donated, so he brought it home to me, and I uh, gave it to one of my coworkers who did not have a speedball gun that wanted to get back into paintball. So the only issue with this is the stock board, the red wiring on the, the spool of the uh, solenoid. It's probably like really old because I tried a new armature in there, and if the thing goes up over 120 PSI, you have to pull the trigger several times to get the uh, word to actuate the solenoid. So I think it's just getting old. But it'll fire at 120 PSI, and I'm guessing that's uh, probably 200 feet per second or less. Um, but I can't find my chronograph for some weird reason. So uh, I might have left it at work. It might have got picked up by somebody. I don't know. But and then uh, just a quick video with uh, the ion that I had completed, which I played with finally, and the thing is working awesome. The thing is lightning quick at most faces for sure. <laughs> There's some uh, paintballs uh, after some customers uh, turned in their equipment, uh, rental equipment. There was, you know, some some of them leave paintballs in their loaders. So I uh, I grabbed up uh, uh, all the good paintballs I could out of the loaders that weren't broken and stuff. So I could uh, fix up these guns and test them out back. And uh, my uh, Ninja Tank only has almost 200 or 2,000 PSI left in it. So... We're gonna try to be a little conservative with uh, how many times I fire some of these guns. So we're gonna chart, start with that uh, G3, uh, Dangerous Power G3, if that's what it is. Um, Cause that thing was very fast. So give me a second, I'm gonna load up. And uh, we'll get the shooting there. I'm just uh, getting the tank on G3. I'm gonna keep the air to gas until it's time. Almost done, guys. And then I gotta put a barrel on this thing. I'm gonna be, run I'm gonna be running uh, using a 691 insert, by the way, um, in my uh, Bob Wong or my Field One uh, Eculot kit. I typically use a 695. It, um, when I'm playing at our small field, just to guarantee uh, there's little to no chance of uh, the thing uh, getting barrel break. So okay, here, we, here we go. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, that's it for that one. I don't want, I don't want to lose too much air. So shut this rotor off. So it's not gonna spew paint all over the place. So you can probably hear that leak. Let's see what it knock it down to. That, that just consumed 500 psi, just leaking like that. That's crazy. Okay, next we'll lean the portal uh, rise maps or whatever it is. It just uh, it just says rise on it. So. Uh, the G3 is is pretty fast, but that thing kicks. I mean, for uh, if you compare it to a lot of other high ends, even uh, the mid range price range, like this uh, Max. This Max is actually pretty darn smooth. 
compared to, uh, well, it's pretty smooth overall anyways. So, I've only fired a maxed, uh, or one of these Proto Rise markers a couple times. Um, and that was only a few shots uh, from guns that customers owned. So this is going to be first time. Uh-oh. Uh, that's pretty smooth. You can see the kick on this. I think. I don't know what's going on. Oh, the loader was on. That's pretty smooth. Uh, the loader was having some jam or was jamming. Remember, this is uh, used paint, so there's no guarantee it's in good condition. The paint, I mean. And then. That's a pretty smooth shooting marker, so we're gonna get the tank off of this thing. We are at about 1200 psi right now. Okay, the next gun is going to be a co worker's, uh, the Ion I gave my co worker. This thing, for some reason, is also a very bad gas fog. I don't know why. I don't know why it's being a gas log, but it is. So I gotta be kind of conservative. I'm not gonna shoot this one too many times. See, I just had to pull up the trigger a few times. I only, oh, I don't know why. The PSI is up to like 140. I had to set at 120. See, that's pretty smooth as well. Dogs, relax. Get the shoe. That's a half pit bull, half German Shepherd. A little too big to be playing like that with that little dog. All right, shut that off. I'm just going to bring out the last two guns with me. Y'all have seen them many times. That's the uh, Bob Long Vest and the uh, Ion. Shut those matches rise off real quick. Okay. Alright. Sorry I don't have everything in the frame. I just don't have any tables or anything out here to set this stuff in to get it in front of the uh, Got it close to the camera. Um, so far, I would say the Rise was the smoothest. Um, that Ion was actually pretty close. Um, Y'all have seen the uh, this a million times, so I'll run that one last. That's the most air-efficient one of all these anyway, so I'll trust to... Uh... There, you know what? Let me, let me just fill this... Uh... I shall fill the loader up in the end. With the, uh, this. Okay. And this is a virtual redefine board. It's still on semi auto. But this thing is so ripping fast, it's not even funny. So this thing's pretty smooth, too. Shots with uh, if you guess it, just under a thousand psi now, and I don't know how many paintballs I would say that is that I have left here. Let me shut this board off, okay? All right, last but not least, it's gonna be my this. Um, so far, still that uh, Proto Rise was uh, the smoothest one. Um, uh, for some reason, my ion does kick a little bit more, has a little bit more vibrations from the shots than, uh, 
that stock ion, surprisingly. I don't know why. But uh, mine, after putting a QEV, having the dwell way lower, um, I'd get a little less poppy feeling from it. But whatever. It's still smooth enough, and it shoots really straight at the field I play at. Oh, oh, that I just remembered that stock ion is only uh, running at 150 uh, psi. That's actually what I have. Uh, well, I have my uh, um, my upgraded ion set to uh, like 135, something like that, to get a 260 feet per second. Oh, hang on. All right, we're gonna set this to three shot, uh, 15 balls per second. And I'll tell you what I think about. And here's my vis, last but not least. All right, here we go. That's definitely a smooth by far. Maybe time for me to change these batteries. Yeah, that's time to change these bat either change these batteries or Oh come on, why are you doing this to me? Alright. Uh oh. Maybe it may be the paint. Sorry, I'm sorry guys, I wasn't anticipating. I just need a paint shell fly out. Not a broken ball, but. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, I've had this. Uh, I've put probably 70, 80 cases of this vis. Anyways, the O-rings have broken in quite a bit. And uh, I've been able to bring the pressures down to such ridiculously low pressures that it's not going to hardly kick anyways. So I got this uh, running with uh, this... Field paint around 250 feet per second. It depends on the paint. Some of it only runs 240. Higher end paint, as you've seen before, the GI5 stars and Ultra Evils uh, are going 285 to 295. So it just depends. And uh, which inserts I put in. Because I do overbore. So I'll tend to get lower velocities. But uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you next time.